So I am here with Manuel Barreco. Thank Hello. you, Maestro, for joining us. My pleasure. Uh, and we are here to talk about the Baltimore Guitar Competition coming up uh, next year. So can you tell us about the competition, how it was born, uh, who is it open to, and uh, who's behind it? So for a long time, you know, I, I, I thought that it would be nice to have a competition that, that, that could be, uh, you know, as fair as possible. And uh, the emphasis of it would be completely on, on the art of the guitar and, and music, you know, and, and not so much uh, on, you know, theatrics or... Yeah. Not that I have anything against that. If somebody bothers me, I just don't look. But, but you know, I just thought I wanted to be on, on, the, on the music. Um, talking to, to, a, to a, a friend of mine here in Baltimore, we, we were having lunch and then he mentioned that that he would be willing to do a competition, you know, mm -hmm. and, you know, and, um, and he actually was responsible for for getting it going financially. I mean, because money is, is needed to, to do it, so so I owe him a lot for doing that. The competition has been organized by the Baltimore Classic Guitar Society, of which actually I am the artistic director. And for disclosure, my 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 wife, Oscar do Sigula Dolcet, is is the president of Very the society. Nice. Okay. Yes. So you talked about uh, repertoire a little bit. Yeah. Uh, can you talk to us about this? Yeah, what we wanted to do was to, to have a wide range of repertoire so we could mm -hmm. really uh, try to look uh, more deeply into each of the players. Um, and it's also, and it goes together with this, the, uh, the finals are going to be uh, three days. The first one will be at UMBC, which is University of Maryland, Baltimore County. Mm. The second one will be at Towson University. And the last one will be at Peabody Conservatory in Baltimore. Yeah. So all three of them will be in, in, in the Baltimore area, but different halls. Great. So, um, so the first day is going to be all Baroque and classical. It's going to be one of the, uh, by Bach, by Johann Sebastian Bach, either one of the suites, the lute suites, yes. the so-called lute suites. Mm -hmm or the Prelude Fugue and Allegro, or the Chacon. But in total, each, uh, the, this Bach set should, should last roughly between 18 and, and 20 minutes. And that will go together with, uh, with Thor, the variations on the Magic Flute by, mm -hmm. by Mozart. So that will be the, the first round. So it's classical and, mm. and, and Baroque. So for the second day, it's going to be more about romantic music, mm -hmm. and the required pieces will be uh, Capriccio Arabe by Tarrega, mm -hmm. and also by Tarrega the Recuerdos de la Alhambra, mm -hmm. which could be substituted with, uh, with Agustin Barrios's uh, Una Limosna. Mm -hmm. A tremolo piece. A tremolo piece, yeah. not tremolo, a tremolo piece. We wanted to see the, 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 uh, the technique, because the, yeah. the repertoire, the repertoire is uh, chosen to both be able to test the technique and mm. the musicality. Yeah. Uh, so the rest of that day, which each, uh, each of the three days for the finals would be approximately 30 minutes of music. Okay. It would be free choice from them from the 19th century or maybe early 20th century romantic, new romantic music. And the last day will be, uh, the required piece would be Via Lobos. It would be uh, mm. 827 by Via Lobos, 81 by Via Lobos, and Prelude 3 by Via Lobos. Yes. Um, and I feel those three will will will, will test, you know, the yeah. the, uh, the not only technically but musically also mm -hmm. and the culture of the player as well. Yeah. And the rest of it will be twenty minutes of um, music from the twentieth century to uh, to the present. Okay. I also want to say that this is not by any chance obviously uh, obscure repertoire. Yeah. It's a repertoire that any player with some experience yeah. will have already. Of course, this is and true. yeah. So, and the idea for that is, uh, there are two. One is, since it's not so much time for, uh, between now and the beginning of, of the, the competition, the competition itself, it should be easy enough for, mm -hmm. for any player yeah. to have this repertoire available. I mean, our, our, our view is not to make it as difficult as possible, you know, mm -hmm. if anything, the, 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 as easy as possible, show us what you have. Yeah, yeah. And um, once you decide on a winner, what are the prizes there? Well, the main prize uh, for, the, uh, for the first place will be, uh, it's a $35,000 wow. uh, prize, of which 15000 is a career award okay. or prize. And the idea for that is 
to hopefully that the winner will use that money to develop the career further than you know mm. they just don't go and buy in, you know yeah a Rolls Royce the Rolls Royce <laughs> <laughs> a very used one yeah <laughs> yes. yeah so um, but we'll be able to use uh, use guidance in that hopefully so 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 that it, it will mm. be helpful because I I hear offering from young players that won competitions that they win a competition and that's it there's yeah. nothing else mm -hmm. we're not promising no, no. All, all we can promise is to make an effort to help them that's great but there will be some money there mm -hmm. so so there's a minimum that could be done to help them for, for sure I mean it could be you know recording it could be publicity it could be who knows you know yeah. a project that they may want want to do mm -hmm. and I'm sure I am sure that that other things will 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 happen. For example, I'm sure that we'll play a uh, a recital with, in Baltimore with the, with the Baltimore yeah. Classic Guitar Society for for you know a, a nice fee. Additionally, the uh, the winner will have a one hour long consultation with Icadenza, mm -hmm. which is a group that that works in, in developing you know, oh, careers yeah. and developing artists. So yeah. that should be helpful. So they'll have an open door to the the music business. Uh, at least guidance, you yeah, know, guidance. some guidance, you know. I mean, I can tell you, like, when I started, you know, I mean, I didn't have any guidance. I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. You know, even I remember asking my teacher about that. He said, I don't know, you know, I don't know how to do these yeah. things. So, um, so they will receive guidance, you know, That's so right. it will be up to them. Okay. I mentioned the $35,000, you know, first place, which mm -hmm. includes the $15,000 yeah. for the career. Then the second place will be 10000 and the third place would be 5,000. There will also be a, a, um, an audience uh, prize, mm -hmm. and that would be $2,500. Mm -hmm. um, I think all the finalists, and, or semi-finalists, I should say, would receive $500 and okay. for, to help with transportation, and they will also receive you know, hotel accommodations while they're oh, here wow. in Baltimore. Yeah. Okay. And uh, can you talk, tell us about the jury? The jury... Uh, now, are you going to be in the jury? No. The plan so far is that there will be seven jurors. You know. mm -hmm. Three will be guitarists, mm -hmm. and three will be non-guitarists. Okay. And then there's another one, in, the, the, actually it's Paul Odette, the, the, oh. the little player. So yeah. I feel like Paul is sort of in, 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 yeah. in the middle a little bit. Originally it was going to be three guitarists and four non-guitarists. Okay. So, so it is three, three uh, non guitars, but in Polo Den as well. Yeah, yes. I also want to mention it because he's so respected, yes, you know, and like that. I think, yeah. I, you know, I, I think I have I, my feeling is that people will be happy to yeah. hear that. And he knows the guitar so well, so. of course, he's, yeah. yeah. And, and then, so seven jurors, four non guitars, and three guitars for the finals. So, you will have a first round on video, and right. of those, you select. People to come here? Well, the first, the, 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 uh, the video part of it, the first one, but we don't know how many people will apply. Yeah. And from that, it will, it will go to either somewhere between 8 and 12 participants. Okay. Very few. And, uh, and then from there, it goes to 3. And oh, then wow. it's the, the finals. I've heard rumors that uh, the competition is going to be uh, blindly judged. Well, yes, and that's because I started that rumor. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so it's true. No, no, no. It actually, it is, it, it is true. It's all going to be blind hmm. up until the last day of the finals. And in the finals, the first two days, uh, the judges will, will listen without knowing, knowing who the players are or yeah. seeing them. And um, So it's just well, all going to be by listening. And the last day, the, the judges will be able to come into the audience and see them for the first time. The, the idea of that was to take away from, from things that may detract from the, from, from the musical aspect of, of the performance. And uh, as, as somebody that we know said, you know, he, this person that we know complained that today people listen too much with their eyes. Mm -hmm. So we just want to make yeah. sure that they, they listen with their ears, which makes a big difference. You yes. know? If you listen to something blind or not, it makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. Nine months from now. I know, so okay. nine months. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, like a baby. Almost, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, yeah. thank you so much. Bye -bye. And thank I can't wait to uh, witness that competition next year. Thank you very much. Thanks, Maestro. <laughs>